Well, we don't do too much art on Dubai Racing Channel, but we've had to make an exception because Darren Bird is having his very first art exhibition here at Heathcourt Hotel in Newmarket. Congratulations, first of all. Quite a big moment, really, I suppose, your first ever exhibition. It's a massive moment for me personally. Um, only two years ago, I was just joining Twitter, so um, to come this far was amazing. And I'm going to say you shot to fame on our channel because Brett Williams interviewed you uh, at Newmarket last year and it was it was sort of your caricature that, that we featured then because I suppose that, that that's sort of how you've become better known. Yeah, I've been noticed on At The Races from tweeting in a few cartoons and since then the interest has just built and built and built. Um, so I thought I'd jump full in and go for an exhibition in Newmarket. And they're amazing, the caricatures. I mean, you seem to really capture the expressions of, of, of the jockeys that, that, you, that, that you depict. I mean, it looks like it would take hours, but you're telling me it's actually quite quick. Uh, some of them um, uh, spur of the moment, so uh, you capture a moment. Um, but other than that, if I'm spending a little bit longer on them, um, up to maybe an hour or two, you've got to get the details in there and get them right. So some do take a little bit longer. And how do you do it? Is it from a photo, from the TV, from your memory? Um, I tend to um, cheat a little bit in the sense I take a picture from my phone of the TV just as a backup and then work from that. So then you've got a little bit more time. Um, but with the horses, it's memory and I spend a lot of time watching horse race and so you get the legs right and everything else and then go from there. This is a fabulous exhibition because, it, as you said yourself, it looks like it's several different artists. You've got a, a tremendous range of work. Well, the, my view on racing is something that happens different every day. So therefore, if I'm feeling in a certain mood, I might try something different. So, and that's where it comes from, really. And also quite a range of, of mediums. We've seen acrylics in there, pastel as well, and a few sketches. Yeah, I tend to do the um, caricature styles in watercolours. Mm -hmm. So that, that enables me to do it a little bit quicker. But sometimes more of a therapeutic to get the oils or the pastels out and try something different. Some of your more serious pieces, uh, shall we say, they must take a, a lot longer, some of perhaps your, your, your gallop shots, the early morning stuff. Yeah, the, um, you know, they're the sort of um, art pieces of artwork that I'd like to go back to and, and like you say, take a little bit longer, but uh, they're, they're nice to see them all framed up in the exhibition today. Mm. And what's the next step, obviously, building up your name and, and getting a few people down here this weekend? <laughs> Yes, this weekend is about putting myself out there, um, a little bit more than as currently on Twitter, which has been amazing. The support on there has been fantastic. The exhibition is purely about allowing people to come and see the work close up and um, hopefully enjoy it and then give me their feedback too, because I want to build on what I've done to date. Do you have a favourite piece that, that you can show us of, of, all, of all those here today? My favourite piece is probably uh, the tree of Plumpton, which has got a nice shot of the horses coming over just around the bend, and also the Ruby Walsh and Hurricane Fly, especially as I've got that sign from Ruby Walsh and Willie Mullins himself. And at the moment you're doing this sort of on the side, you, you've got a job as well. Do you hope eventually that this will be your full-time job? This is the springboard, I'm hoping, that will propel me into making that large leap into the unknown. But hopefully with the back end and the support I've had this weekend and over the last two years, uh, fingers crossed, basically. And reassure your fans that even if you get to do a lot more oil work, you won't ditch the caricatures ever, will you? I'm never going to ditch the caricatures. They are the things that put this big smile on people's faces, and that's what I want most out of my work. If I can see somebody pick a picture up and the smile's there, then I'm going to carry on with that.